So I thought it was probably time to update my video on making dot plots and box plots in GeoGebra. So I'm going to do that in the newest version. I'm just going to use the one that's on the web. I'm going to use GeoGebra Classic. That's what I'm most familiar with. It has the full set of inputs that I can use. So I've just Googled here GeoGebra Classics and I'm going to click on that link and it'll take you straight into the software. Okay. So there's some icons. I've gone to the link there to GeoGebra Classic. There's some icons at the top and then in this version you have the input bar over here on the left and it'll go down the screen as you get different algebra inputs and then you have the graph and you have this message that'll go away when you click. Um, we could type our list of data directly so in the input bar I can do L equals and then in the set brackets put whatever numbers I want to make a list out of. I'm going to click the, uh, the undo arrow here. Um, but I have a set. I think I still have them copied to my clipboard. I'm going to go over here to the side to get the menus and under view I can turn on a spreadsheet and I'm going to click there on cell A and paste and I've pasted. These actually got off the web. They're from 2019, the points per game by the different NFL teams. Um, I can then select the entire list, right click and create a list to get a list of points. And then I'm going to go back to view and turn the spreadsheet off. Okay, so now I've got my list of I think 32 points there. I can even, if you want to know, the, ever want to know the length of a list, you can do length and then the list name. This one's L1. Yeah, we have the 32 NFL teams. Um, so I'm going to do a dot plot and a box plot over here. First thing I'm going to do is change the scale of my window here. So I'm going to first right click just anywhere or actually sorry left click just somewhere on the graph and then right click and go to graphics and then I can set the X min, X max, Y min and Y max. In particular I want to change the X's because my, my variable runs up into the 40's. I, I don't really care what the negative one. I'll leave that at negative 5 but I'm going to run up to about 50 or so. And of course, the way GeoGebra works, I haven't figured out on the newest version how to get that window that I just had out of this window. And it, when it goes to 50 on the smaller one, it goes to a larger value here. And you can, you can zoom in and out with the middle button on the mouse. So it doesn't matter exactly what your scale is, but you need to go large enough to see all the values. So dot plots are really easy. In the input bar, I just type the command dot plot and you see that it starts listing available options there. So dot plot parentheses and just give it the name of the list. Mine's called L1 and there you go, there's the dot plot. Okay. Again, I can zoom in and out a little bit if I wanted. And then a box plot, the command is box plot. And there's different types of arguments. You saw when I was typing the word box plot, it has lots of different ways to do it. The easiest way here is I'm going to actually use the first one. I'll go ahead and hit enter and it'll show you. Y offset is where you want the center of the thing to be in the Y direction. I'm going to put it up here at 6. And then your Y scale is going to control how wide it is. Um, I'm going to do 1. And then the raw data, L1. Okay, So that'll be the command, just box plot. And where I want to put it in the middle of the box, you can see the result here once I hit enter where it's going to show up. It's centered at 6 and then the width is 1 in each direction. So that's my Y offset, Y scale, and then the actual data. And the, the number that it displays, that's actually the median. Okay. So that's how you can get a dot plot and a box plot on the same graph in the newest version of GeoGebra. And if you're in Windows, I know you can't see this, but I'm going to go down in my input bar and type snipping tool. And Windows has this nice little tool called the Snipping Tool, and I can do New, and then just make a rectangle around this. And then you can copy and paste. You can go to Edit, Copy, and then paste that into a Word document.